told you I was going to use that intro. Yeah. <laughs> so we are uh, taking a quick little trip. We are. So yesterday, 24 hours ago, <laughs> this trip didn't exist. And all of a sudden we're like, the weather's beautiful. It's been a rough week. It's been a rough week. Let's take a day off and get out and enjoy a glorious day. A glorious day. Do nothing. So we're actually going up to the Chassawiska. What? The Chassawiska. <laughs> we're going to the Chaz. The Chaz. Um, river. And uh, we're going to do some paddle boarding and some relaxing. Yep. We have the hammocks and the paddle boards. Fishing pole. And fishing pole. <laughs> we have a wager. Oh yeah, how many fish do you think Joel can catch? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even see that I did that, did you? <laughs> All right, well let's go see if Joel catches anything. <laughs> Come along with us. Bye. <laughs> All right, so this is the launch area at the Chaz River Campground. Cost us five dollars to park, and we are on the water. I'm gonna run right into Joel. Joel, scooch! Into <laughs> and our first sighting of a manatee. It's gonna be a glorious day. Hey, dude! Alright, so this is the entrance when you come out from uh, the main ramp, I guess. You take a right and then you go down just a little ways and you turn left into here and this is Seven Sisters and you rarely see nobody here. Right. So, <laughs> Welcome to a weekday. Yeah, a weekday and uh, usually this place is packed with boats and it's really low tide so um, there's just a couple people here and I'm going to stay here for a few minutes and move along. All right, we find, found the beach we wanted to go to, brought the boards up onto the beach, and this is a nice little site. I call it a site because people camp here, but you're really not supposed to. But we are putting our hammocks up. We don't have the stands, but we've got some great trees, don't we, Joel? Great, great trees. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Right along the water here. And now we have pure relaxation. <laughs> it took a lot of energy to put that thumb up. Uh huh. All right, Joel trying his fishing. There's a lot of algae here though, or like seagrass. Is it seagrass or algae? I don't know. It's, it's really low tide, so maybe we're seeing it more, but. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little hard to fish. So Joel may use that as his excuse why he doesn't get any fish. <laughs> Not May, I'm going to we that. see. It is lunchtime. Yay, my favorite time it's of the so day. Awesome. <laughs> Besides breakfast and dinner. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we normally do pub subs, which are subs from the local uh, supermarket. Publix. Yep, Publix. But um, we're going camping in a few weeks, uh, primitive camping in some hammocks. Uh, and so we got this freeze dried food, uh, peak refuel. And we've heard great things about it, so we're like, well, let's give it a try. So today, instead of cold subs, peak refuel, using the jet, jet oil, oil, and we're gonna have a hot lunch. Pouring it in. Doesn't seem like a lot of water, but it doesn't. here's a spoon. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. So uh, the reason we wanted to try this one is because it doesn't take a lot of water. Um, that whole two serving package was only two thirds cup. So we're gonna stir it around and then close it up. Close it up. Okay, it's been 10 minutes and we're gonna open it up and see what the peak refuel chicken pesto pasta <laughs> looks like. Are you ready? Let's see. I'm so excited. I can't open it. <laughs> it looks just about perfect. Look at that. Huh. Huh. 
I'm not sure what Amy's having for lunch. <laughs> Let's dish it out. Let's do it. Yum. Whoop. I'm not sure after a day of backpacking this will be enough for dinner, but <laughs> it's perfect for lunch. That is, that is all. It? That's it. <laughs> that's what we got for lunch. All right. Here you go. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Oh, oh, get one more over there. Oh, uh, now, now it's All right, even. now we're, now, oh, hold on. Oh, there's even okay. chicken in here. There you go. Ooh. Looks good. Okay, let's see what we got for lunch. All right, we had to uh, drop the boards off over here. And uh, we are heading up to the crack. And um, it gets really, really narrow and really, really shallow. So we will walk the rest of the way. All right, this is the crack. Just a spring with some deeper water. People are hanging from the uh, rope swings and having fun. You'll be safe. So oh, he's got it. He's got it. <laughs> That's a good picture, right? There. Yeah, but I think I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> you put a hurting on that. Oh, oh. Okay. You only got a two on that one. <laughs> Man. All right, Amy, make it happen. See it? Oh, yeah. Two that one, and then stepped onto that broken branch right there. Good job, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I can't handle that. I don't Don't get me wet, Amy. <laughs> So our day is done. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. It was so everything was so relaxing, exactly what we wanted. Yep. And so glad we made it down to the crack, um, the which crack. is the crack is a spring. Yep. I don't know if we really said much about it, <laughs> but we went, you go down and, and you find this, this it's spring. It's a really narrow kind of like creek that leads to this spring and it was a rope swing and we swam. And it was so much it was fun. It was awesome. So much fun. Great people. Yep. Um, so yeah, so we're going to, Head home and uh, we'll see you guys on our next adventure. Yep. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please subscribe bloop, bloop. and uh, follow us on our next adventure. See you guys. Have a glorious day. Bye.